mastered Microsoft Make Code, you've peered under the hood and played around with the JavaScript, now you're ready to go beyond. That's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. First, you'll need to download Visual Studio. Visual Studio gives the BrainPad user the option to program their BrainPad using C Sharp or Visual Basic through a solid professional development tool used by professionals all over the world to program everything from websites, phone apps, computer software, even Xbox games. Visual Studio also makes things like debugging very easy because you can step through the software code and see what's actually happening on the hardware. This is great if you have lots and lots of lines of code. It also gets new users used to working inside a truly professional development environment. Download the latest community version, it's free. We'll include the links on the description below. This may take a while, so you might want to have it prepared ahead of time if you're doing it in the classroom. You're going to want to check the .NET desktop development under workloads when prompted to. Once you got Visual Studio installed, we need to install the TinyCLR Visual Studio extension. This will allow us to program the BrainPad using Visual Studio. Launch Visual Studio. Then you're going to want to navigate up here to Tools, Extensions and Updates. Click on the Extensions and Updates. Now mine, you'll see TinyCLR up at the top because I already have it installed. But if I didn't, there would be an Install button. If it doesn't appear, you can just search up in here for TinyCLR and it'll pop up. Since we already have it installed, I don't have to do anything. Install that. Now that the TinyCLR extension is installed in Visual Studio, we're ready to set up the BrainPad now to work with Visual Studio. To do that, let's go to the Docs website, docs.brainpad.com, and we'll look under Resources, and then we'll go to Downloads. There we'll see the TinyCLR OS BrainPad firmware. Now the beauty of these files is they're just like the Microsoft MakeCode file, and the way you install it is exactly the same. You hold down your button, it opens up a window. We just download the file we want, and then we drag it in. The light will start blinking. And that's it. Okay, let's start a new project. First, click on File, New, Project. Down in here under Visual C Sharp, you'll notice we have several options. We wanna to go to TinyCLR. Then we want to select TinyCLR application. Let's name our application Hello World BrainPad. Now we just got to wait for those files to be created. And there we have it. Now we just have to install the BrainPad extension. To do this, the BrainPad extension is housed in a place called NuGet. That's where part some programs are stored until we need them, and if we don't need them, it doesn't take up extra space. But we're gonna need the BrainPad file to program, so let's do that. To get there, all we have to do is right-click on here, and then go into Manage NuGet Packages. It'll show the one we have installed. We wanna click Browse, though. Click Browse. It'll take us to all the different kinds of packages that are available. If BrainPad isn't appear right there, let's just type BrainPad. BrainPad. All right, there's the BrainPad extension. You'll see a black arrow over here. That means we want to install it. Click on that to install it. Once you click on there, it's going to ask you, yes, okay, I accept. And then now it's actually installing all the files you'll need. One more thing we need to do is we have to add the BrainPad helper file. Now the BrainPad helper file is a class file that contains all the sensors, everything we need, so that they'll show up in Visual Studio and make it real easy to program. To do that, it's almost just like adding the NuGet package. We right click on here, we go to Add, which is right above the NuGet package, New Item, and right at the very top on this instance, it says BrainPad helper file. We just click that and then click Add. It loads in the BrainPad helper file. Here you can see there's accelerometer, button, buzzer, display. This gives us access to all those within C Sharp. Those two steps of loading the NuGet package and the BrainPad helper, you'll have to do every time you want to create a BrainPad program. Let's start by typing BrainPad. You'll notice BrainPad pops up. This is called IntelliSense. This is something professionals use because it tells them 
basically out of program. If I type brain pad and then dot, it's gonna give me all the different things that I can access. I wanna access the display here. So we're gonna display some words. Display dot, here's all the different things I can display. I wanna display small text. Now small text is gonna give me an option of what I wanna display. I have to send some parameters in. Small text only wants X, Y, and the string. So let's do that one. So our X coordinate, we'll just put it at 10. We'll put the Y coordinate at 10, a comma. Now we have to put our string inside quotes. So let's put in here, hello world. And then we have to end every line in C sharp with a semicolon. Right now we're telling it to display, but we're not pushing it to the display. The next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna refresh the screen and it'll display. So I go back to brain pad, dot display, dot, and I'm gonna call the refresh screen function. And then we put a semicolon, bam, that's it. Now, when we do make code, we press this to load our program and the green light comes on. We don't do that in Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, all we have to do is we press the start button here. And if we look, it'll start telling down here in the output window what's happening. That it's basically connecting to our device and then it's loading, it's erasing the old sectors, it's adding the new sectors, and then it'll launch the program. And now you'll see, Hello World displays on here. We wrote the program in C Sharp using Visual Studio and we deployed it to the brain pad. This is just the beginning of what you can do. Pretty much everything in C Sharp is available to program in the brain pad. And C Sharp is one of the most popular languages in the world, used by professional developers all over the world. So when we say going beyond, you're really going beyond. So let's see what you make and keep learning.